Hi, Naomi. <laughs> Hi. Um, how, how, how many are we? We are currently uh, 30 people with plus you. Oh, oh God. Wait, I tried to see everybody. So you can see uh, everyone on view, gallery view. Yeah. Yeah. Maj, you pronounce your name Maj or Ma Mage? Mage. Mage, okay. Yeah. So, hi. 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 Nice to meet you. I can't put in bigger the affichage. You, you will. Oh, yes. Okay, you... okay. Now I see. I see better. Okay. Sorry. So there is Gino with me, but uh. Oh. <laughs> I take him now because otherwise, after he will be not. <laughs> okay. So, Zips, how you how you Sips. pronounce your name? Zips, Zips. Okay, nice to meet you, Mel. Hi, Mel. How are you? Good. <laughs> how can I hear you? Oh, I can't. Uh, I can't hear every. Uh, yeah, that week because we we wanted uh, everyone wanted to present your yourself to uh, to you. Um, so we will do a, a little uh, introduction, and then everyone is, will uh, start uh, great. talking so to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's why they are all on mute now, but they they will. Uh, unmute themselves when they want to talk to you and present yourself okay, that doesn't okay. have you okay. so uh well uh <laughs> sorry and uh well you know um i made um uh, hello no me thank you very much for doing that when we're doing this for us and um it's really a pleasure for all of us to have you here and uh, we appreciate we appreciate uh, enormously that that the time that you are giving us um i'm sorry for my broken english i'm i i, I speak spanish no, no, no. um uh, first, uh, I wanted to announce to you that the results of the charity were uh, the fundraiser were great. We uh, fundraised a total of uh, 1,278 dollars. Um, and uh, and for some of familia budget, and they they are and they are really great uh, grateful for that. We we thank from the bottom of our hearts to everyone who donate mm -hmm. uh, to this cause, and also to Kevin Perez, the president of Somos Familia Valle, who really was uh, really helpful and and them to work with us on this mm -hmm. and well we also want to uh, um, thank uh, Anais Bertrand and um, she is helping she helped she had to meet with the prints for yeah, the yeah, autographs yeah yeah and we wanted to acknowledge that that really helped us a lot so this is uh this is uh, Merland Academy um we, we first um found this when uh, I saw that many people really wanted to see your other works besides portrait and it was really difficult to find it uh, outside France and so we started what uh, it is a Discord server that is called Merlin Itinerant Film Festival. So we just um, showed uh, your all of your films uh, there, and we uh, most of us have uh, have had the opportunity to to watch them all. 
through that. And that's how the community of Merlin Academy um, was born. And um, June of 2020, I decided to open the Insta page uh, to keep people uh, up to speed with uh, your new projects and appearances and what well, because they wanted to know. So, well, um, all of us here are really, really, really excited to have you. And that is all that I will say uh, for now. We present uh, you to our community and now you can have uh, a time to meet us all yeah, okay so <laughs> me, so yes me, uh, it was to say thank you to 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 you to be to be there and to have donate also uh, the people who donate to uh to to the association that uh, I can't be more gr grateful and to you to organize all this. So really, I I, I appreciate it a lot because it it gives uh, I don't know to be connected really with people and not just like some I don't know it's not only likes on internet or that it's talking and even if it's not a long time or it's not in real it's actually more uh not true i don't know how to say that in english but more personal more real more uh, sincere uh, to more up, up close that um for uh on messages or but no you know um virtual is what we can do and we have people from all over the world here and you will know you will know that uh, soon so we we are now uh, starting with with Nat, with Nati uh, please Nati uh, unmute yourself hi 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 Nati how are you thank you so much for being with us today uh, thank you to you do, do you feel uh, you're, you're okay? Well, I'm feeling a little better. It's going to be like a little, at least three to four months with my shoulder. You know, I broke it in four pieces. So uh, it's uh, kind of bad, but, you know, surely Courage. I'll make it. Yeah. Courage. Uh, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, will you be working with any of the cast of Portrait of the Lady on Fire in the future projects? In your future projects? Uh, not no, for now. No, no. There is no. There is no project that is uh, lancé. I don't know how to say lancé. Do we have a traducer in 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 case? <laughs> in case I don't know some words. Or can I try on internet? You can say uh, it in French and then we can translate later. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, don't uh, worry. Just yeah. Sorry, Nati. Um no, there is no I, I, I can't say there is no, there is nothing that uh, we is planned. I mean but maybe one day, we never know. Yes, that would be nice. Yeah. And well I would like to um tell you that um we're very proud of you and uh, here in Miami, a lot of people know about you already and uh, continue with your ex extremely excellent work and a lot of success in your future. Thank you very much, Nadi. And uh, maybe uh, I, I, I hope uh, I will go to Miami. Uh, uh, I, I did a movie in the uh, United States that I just finished and uh, which is an independent movie, but maybe I hope there will be a premiere in, uh, in, 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 in Miami because one of the producer uh, is from Miami. So she told me we're going to uh, go to Miami to do a premiere. So maybe we'll meet there. Oh, great. It will be awesome to meet you personally. <laughs> For me too. Okay. Don't go now. COVID is ridiculous in Florida. Some other time. No, I know. I know. <laughs> It's terrible right now in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, a lot of the uh, we're getting a lot of cases. 
and oh. uh, let's see what's going to happen. Mm. Yeah. But. Okay. So good, good, good luck with everything. I mean, uh, send you a lot of, uh, how you say that, strong and uh, rage and uh, energy. Yes, really. I do need it. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, no I mean, you can say uh, things in French if you uh, ha have trouble with English. We have a translator here. Okay, great. Don't, Thank you. don't worry about it. Thank yes, you. as a matter of fact, I'm taking some French lessons, Nomi. <laughs> I'm taking some French lessons because I used to know a little bit when I was in primary school, but then I said, no, I'm going to pick it up again. So, <laughs> okay, so um, me, I have to improve my English also. Uh, I, I'm tr I, I try, I try, I try. <laughs> okay, okay, so next, we, have to, we have to keep it moving along. I'm sorry. Um, thank you, thank you so, much. so many people. Um, so next, um, Faye is next. Hi, hi, nice to meet you all. Nice hi. to meet you, Amy. Hi, Faye. Hi. I am currently at work, uh, I work in the hospital. So I just, I don't have a question right now. I oh, God, you are on work right now. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm at the emergency department. Uh, I'm a neurologist. Where and are you? I don't, I don't really hear you well. I am, Where? I, am at, I work at the hospital. I'm a doctor. I'm a neurologist. Okay. I don't know how do you say in French. Yeah, neurologist, but in what country? They all, Athens, Greece, in Greece. In Greece, okay. Yes, the only okay. thing I know in French is the question "malalatet." Is the Mal only thing I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to waste your time and everyone's time. I just want to say hi and that I am very happy to see you even via internet, via Zoom, and to say how much I adore you and I adore your acting. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you a lot. <laughs> I don't know what to say because it it makes me shy, but I I really appreciate uh, appreciate your your work. <laughs> thank you, and then uh, thank, thank you to you. what you do. So okay, so what? excuse the, me, I'm here. Well, we lost Faye. I guess we lost Faye. I don't know. No, oh, um, I'm here. I'm here. But oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. I'll, I'm going to leave now. So, bye to everyone. Bye to you, Naomi. Bye, Faye. Thank and, you. Very uh, you much. made my day. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Okay. Um, and then the next question is from Larice and Jill. Yeah. Are they logged on? Are they ready to ask? Wait, I have to find to find yes. them <laughs> because it's maybe on page two. No. <laughs> Laris. Hi. Hi, Naimi. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see you. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hi, um, I guess, what, what can I ask you? Um, I can ask, I guess, a, a very basic question portrait question so um do you have any favorite scene or line from the film i mean as a portrait fan i mean we get um asked that a lot right so i'm and just curious one yeah. of my favorite wow. yeah yeah remember. i love that line also <laughs> yeah i love that uh, um don't regret but, remember yeah no, uh, you don't see uh yeah don't regret remember um that uh yeah <laughs> that i love and um a scene that i actually loved uh to play and just uh i don't know uh moved me a lot is the scene when we are together in the bed at the end uh and uh you know it's a top shot and we are talking uh about uh and and it's funny because that scene at uh, uh we did it at the audition uh i did it with adele at the audition but it was not in the script she she added it uh 
not a long time before the the shooting like the first uh, the, the the first version of the script uh, the scene was not in it and it's one of my of my favorite scene do, do, do you see which one I'm, I'm talking about yes the uh, don't regret remember scene is that it yeah so um, yeah it's one of my favorite scene thank you and for <laughs> okay thank so you. thank you Laris. oh it's quick it's so quick <laughs> next is there's so many people next, yeah. Next, yeah yeah i know <laughs> next is natty she already okay, went already she already, oh, went. Natty already went okay so um what about april and jess april. Hi, it's just me april hi <laughs> okay, okay, april, hi. go ahead <laughs> Um, I really don't have a question, but I'm just really happy to be here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where are you from? Uh, from the Philippines. Philippines. Oh, I've been there. I love it's amazing. I don't know really <laughs> really well, but I, I I went to Cebu. Oh, wow. Cebu. <laughs> Cebu, it's Jill is from Cebu. Jill is from Cebu. From Cebu. <laughs> I'm from Cebu, Jill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's so bad. Next what is, is Isabella and Michaela. Michaela. Bye. Uh, hi, Noemi. Uh, nice to meet you. Hi, Isabella. How are you? I'm fine. I'm from Brazil. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I have a kind of a big question to ask you, but I'll be brief. So uh, throughout portrait, I know Marianne and, and Louise, they use uh, formal language, like normally vous instead of tu, mm -hmm. um, except even in, in intimate scenes, except in, the, in their last encounter when, when Louise says, et tu toi and... I think that one could argue that this is probably because they have different social classes, but there are many scenes in which they are portrayed as, you know, as equal, as equal women. So do you think there is a meaning to this last change in the way that they call each other? And uh, in what way do you think that the characters are ultimately equal? Um, I want to be sure that I understand well your question. Okay. Uh, Quelqu'un parle français? No? Oh, J'ai pas non plus. Ah, alors, euh, tu m'as demandé si... Euh, donc, on se vous voit dans le, dans le portrait. On, uh. on se dit vous. We say, we say vous instead of to. And uh, if... Uh, Uh, why do I think at the end uh, there is two? That, that's that's right. Est-ce qu'il y a une une raison pour pour les les différences entre vous et tout et et comme qui qui tu 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 penses? Uh, qui les, 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 les femmes um, sont égales égales Egal uh, in yeah. the movie yeah, yeah. Um, I, I will just tell you what I think because actually mm -hmm. uh, we never talk about that with Celine about the Vu thing really mm -hmm. uh, me I, I have the sensation that there is the Vu because at that time I mean, it was, I think, usual to say vous and not to like that to someone you're not. It's not even because you're not from the same family, because even in the same family, uh, you say vous, you know, uh, at that time. And, and still in some in some um, family, uh, uh, French family, bourgeoise, or there is a vous, you know, it, it, it still exists. So it's a kind of a distance and respect and a... Formal, uh, I don't know um, how to say that, but um, um, but to to go to the two, 
I think also what's in my mind, but I'm not sure Celine will say yes on that, but it's a love story and it's about desire and to have the vu mm -hmm. to, you know, it's kind of, it's not frustrated, but there is a distance and then to switch to a two, to a two, it's, it's, uh, it helps the, I think the constriction of the narrative of the, of the story that there is this vu that transform in a two. I think it's, it's powerful for, 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 for a movie. And it says a lot because it says that when you fall, uh, like it's, they fall in love and then there are, uh, their, their intimacy is, uh, all the barriers are, are are broken because when there is love, there is, yeah, there, there is uh, nothing like kind of nothing else that exists for them. And I don't know if I express myself well, but uh, I think in this movie, since the beginning, even with Sophie, you know, the role of Luana, she, Celine told us a lot that she really didn't want that there is a hierarchy between uh all of us, uh, even uh, if the three characters are from different uh, um, worlds, uh, she wants that in this moment of the the film, in this bubble, there there is no more. There is just equality, and uh, and uh, I don't know if I answer your question, but. Uh, do I answer your question? Yes, yes, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Isabella. Thank you. Mommy, please do us a favor and uh, put your camera a little up because sometimes you, you, you're, oh, we sorry. can see your eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I don't, see, I don't see. I don't see me. Yeah, it's, uh, that that know. is okay. That is That's okay good, now. Though. Okay, okay, so now it's Sue's turn. Sue. I tried to find you. Oh, Sue. Hi, Sue. You, you got to unmute yourself, Sue. Am I unmuted? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, Amy, what an incredible pleasure it is to be able to meet you today. You are such an extraordinary actress. The types of roles you play uh, the range of, of your roles is, I've never seen anybody um, except you tackle such an amazing and very, very difficult roles. So I could talk about any of your films, but I want to just ask you about one film, Jumbo. Um, yeah. I think, I, and I, I, I've watched it, I don't know, maybe 10 times now. Um, I just, I love, I love this film. Um, but for you to play a really emotional part um, against an inanimate object where, you know, with, with a machine where you're not getting obviously any cues from the machine, I, I don't know how you did it, but I wonder if you could talk a little bit about how you prepare for very emotional role uh, scenes um, difficult scenes, maybe like this, maybe, I mean, you've had a lot of these scenes, but this, this, this scene just sticks out to me. Thank you. I just opened to, do you know, because it will disturb. Oh, Gino. We love Gino. Uh, we, we all love Gino. Let him in. Very much, Sufura. Thank you very much for what you said. Um, uh, how do I prepare? Like, uh, it's true that Jumbo was really particular because it's the first time that I had to play um, with uh, an object and I, I had no, I mean, for the scenes with Jumbo, uh, I had to find another way to uh, inter interact uh, and to play so um, it's hard to, to to explain how do I prepare for uh, 
for hard scenes, but I always ask, uh, I try uh, to ask the production to to have a little bit more time when it's big, like uh, intense scenes like that. But it's it's not often that uh, we have this opportunity. But uh, on Jumbo, we had the opportunity to rehearse a lot before the movie, like for a couple of months. So it helps me to 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 find a way to to get the emotions even if it's an object uh and i i don't i don't remember what uh how how we did that but uh at minute i i mean it was kind of a connection with with myself actually it's like i i, I um kind of almost like meditation i don't know how to explain that but uh uh, I remember that uh, uh, Jeanne with Jumbo, it, she was a lot uh, touching it, the color, the sound. And so me, I was trying to use uh, this sensation and, and uh, actually love for an object for, I mean, uh, it's, it's the, the story because it's a true story. It's and I I I um I talk with the person and it's it's the same feelings like the love is the love so um and and that I know love I mean I think we all know oh, how, how we are when we fall in love so I try to use um the emotions that I know when we fall in love and and then I I try to to use it, uh, not to use it, but to to do it with the uh, with the machine. But um, and then in general, for in intense uh, scenes, uh, I don't know. I listen to music. I it's kind of like uh, even sportive sometimes. Like I I need to to run. I need to. But I think we are all uh, all actors are different. But uh, me, I need to stay in a bubble to not talk to kind of not talk to anybody and just uh, a big, big, big concentration, kind of sportive thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank and you very much. You've been a ray of light to all of us in a very dark time. And I just wanted to say that. To say what? Sorry, it cut and I don't. I just wanted to say that you have been a ray of light to all of us in a very dark time. And uh, thank you. Well, thank you to you. Thank you very much. Take care. Okay, so next we have Pietro. Pietro, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Thank you, thank you very much, I'm fine. Oh, I have a particular question for you. Yeah. Uh, if you were to watch uh, the Noemi from uh, Stanislav's uh, music video, the oh, yeah? uh, Beautiful May, uh, what will be your first thought and memory? Uh, of, this, um, of this clip, of this uh, video? Of this clip, uh, of this, of the period, of the period uh, when you start to. Uh, yeah. Um... I love that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's funny. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it was. I don't know what age I had, but it was really the beginning of. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. more a model at that time than an actress. Yeah. Um, 2000, but, uh, 2008 to 2009. Okay. So yeah, it was really the beginning and, yeah. uh, and, uh, I was pretty excited just, just to be in the clip because, uh, I don't know. I feel like I had to act a little bit, even if I didn't have to talk, I feel like I was more doing something that when I was doing photos or, but um, I, I think I had a lot of dream to be an actress at that time, but it was, it was not the easiest moment because I had a lot of people 
were telling me that I'm a model and and so I'm not an actress and a model, uh, you know, you yeah. can't. And so that that was uh, not that, that I I didn't really like that because I really feeling when I was a model I was not happy because it's really. I don't think it's the same for all the models, but me, I really had a bad experience with uh, with this. I really felt like I was an object, like really. And so, um, so when I started to do this video clip, it it, it was little step uh, towards. Uh, uh, to, to, to became uh, the 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 next Anna Magnani for <laughs> the 20, 20, 29, 21st century. Of the scene of cinema, <laughs> that's a nice compliment. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I wish. Uh, but yes, it was. Uh, and at the same time, I was in the acting school at that moment. I just started uh, the Cour Florent, so it was a period of uh, you know transition, transition, uh, and try to get to my dreams. I, I didn't know if it would work, but I was, yeah. I was trying at that moment. Where are you from? From Italy. From Italy, nice, good, okay. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. But thank you for your question. Thank you very much. Okay, okay next is Nina Maria. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Nina Maria? I'm good, and you? Fine, thank you. I, I, I uh, first of all, I'm super grateful for being here. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you for organizing all this. I have a couple of questions. Um, I'm going to try to, to be brief. Um, the first one, well, the first comment I have is that my phone case has the same phrase that you has that, that you have, but it's in French, but I oh, think yeah. it's misspelled. Yeah. It's, oh, uh, it's, wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. I didn't do it. It's anyway. really, oh, you did it? No, no, I, no, no, I, 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 I mean, I draw it, but I didn't paint that, but it has the same code okay. that you have in your pieces. Mine nice. is in French, but yours in, is, is in English, but um, I have two questions. I hope I can uh, have the time to, to do them. The first one is, what is the best advice you've received? Like the first one you think of. <laughs> advice that I received. So hard. Yeah, I know. It's 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 interesting question, but it's it's not that. Uh... It can be perfect because when you it's true that when you start and you want to be an actor and you don't know anything or nobody, you have more people who want to tell you that you're not gonna do, make it. So and and you don't forget that once a lot, you know. Like I have a lot of things that people told me that I remember, but a good advice. I think, I think it's uh, an interview that I read actually. Okay. Uh, I don't remember who. I think it might be Lea Sedou, but I'm not sure. That said, uh, she knew it. It will. It. It's. She knew it will happen. It 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 would not be possible in her head that it would not happen. It's like you know, like this thing. I I read that in a book of uh, meditation uh, that you want to find a trèfle, a trèfle à quatre feuilles. How you yeah. call a trèfle à quatre feuilles? I think the, the translator is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. You know, uh, trèfle à quatre feuilles. When you want to, when you look for it, you look for it, you look for it, you never find it. It says that in the book. But when you just know that it's going to be there, it's there. Uh, if it's not there, you don't even think about it. But if it's not there, it's okay. And so uh, Leah said something um, like that about acting. And uh I don't know why, but it it calms me. It 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 resonate in me. Like, okay, it will happen. It uh, but not like in it has to happen. But yeah. it will happen. It's okay if it doesn't. But I think it will. And I think it's it's 
maybe I maybe it's not true and it's not because I try to think like that and it happened but me I like this kind of magic uh, things I don't know maybe it's not magic maybe it's just uh, pensée positive we call that you know I don't know but uh, the pensée positive helped me I think that's, that's amazing may I, may I uh, ask the, the, the second question is super quick yeah yeah oh thank you <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, I am the founder of a film festival and I really want to get in touch with you and talk to you uh, because we want to invite you and stuff. And it's a big plan. I'm from Mexico. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. So it's a, it's a film festival that, that plans to celebrate the female gays. So Great. I don't okay. know how can I uh, be in touch with you. I believe maybe through Mage or something, but if you can give yeah, me that, okay. I will be grateful. Okay, with pleasure. Let's uh, let's talk about it. Okay, thank, thank you. you. No, thank you, Nomi. I don't hear anyone anymore. I don't know if that's normal. Yeah. Mel, I lost Mel. I think it, the next person is Silver. Okay, Silver. Wait, I just closed the door. Yeah. Uh, hi, Domi. Um, I'm Silver. Uh, I'm from Trump. And um, I have two questions for you as well. One is, I guess, longer. One is really quick. So the first one would be, um, uh, I know that like recently you uh, directed your first feature film. And I was wondering um, what sort of uh, advice or What did you learn from the directors that you worked with previously that you think helped you the most in um, when you're directing your film? And then my second question is, uh, um, we, <sighs> I have to say, we, I think a lot of fans would agree that we really loved you with short hair. And so would you ever consider cutting your hair again? <laughs> Yes, yes. And it's because I was thinking about that yesterday, uh, but I, uh, I don't remember why I thought about that. But uh, I thought about, should I cut my hair again? Uh, I can't because of the shootings that I do. So it's, we, it's like a lot of time we don't really, um, or our body or our hair don't really belong to us. Appartient does you know we have to do the color that they want do the hair we can say no but um i'm not really good to say no <laughs> you know that um so maybe uh when i stop uh shooting in february maybe i will cut my hair i don't know if, as sh if it will be as short as a but I i'm thinking about it yes and i'm sure one day i will I don't know exactly when, but I, I, I think I will. I, I, I liked it actually. I, I, I liked it. And, um, I didn't say hi, actually silver. <laughs> I answered you, but I didn't say hi. Thank you for your questions. Um, and the first one was, uh, what can I, uh, what advices I, I was, I had in mind when I was shooting my first uh, movie right um i think a lot of how Celine's works on set um was really important for me to uh, i um either on 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 shakira or on miubita i really miubita was different because we were really not a lot and we knew all each other for you know a, 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 a time so but to to do what Celine says means try to to create a nice environment on set with the crew that is for me the first thing the base of creation because if you don't impose 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 Uh, some something to someone uh, on it's just a way to talk because you they have to feel 
that we all create together. And so it's really important to create this environment, I think, because, because people feel that they can express themselves. So there is more surprises, more nice accidents, more just more creativity. And that's what's, what is the topic of portrait is that. And, um, and to have this real discussion and the, to, to really try to make that everyone on set can, can feel free to, to, to give uh, ideas or to, to say, no, I don't agree or no, I don't want to do that. Or uh, I, I think it's important to 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 cr create this space to to um, to everybody and we create this space all together and uh, I think that was the most big advice uh, that uh, or thing that I saw that impacted me. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Silver. Okay, I'm, I just want to take a pause and say one thing, and that's that, do you realize how far you come and how brave it is that you're sitting here speaking English to this group of people and you don't seem awkward or anything? And like, I mean, think about when you made that speech for that award, you were so nervous with all those people. And it's like, you're, you're so much, I can see the confidence. It's awesome. You've come so far. And the fact that it's not even in French, it's in English. So... Well done. And your English is amazing. You've, you've, you've held it and you've improved so much. Like you should be proud of yourself for coming so far from, from that. Thank you so <laughs> much, man. Thank you. <laughs> also that, that when you were at Cannes and you had that haircut and you wore that black, that black thing with the, with the boots, the high boots and all that. Oh my God. It was the perfect, it looked perfect. Like you look good all the time, but I'm just saying like that looked really good and your hair did look really good short. So just in case you ever go back to that, like everybody loved it. We all okay. thought it was. <laughs> okay, yeah. so moving on. Thank you, um, man. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, Bay is next. Actually, I've, I have really, I'm lucky. I'm, uh, I'm, it's not uh, lucky, but I have really nice uh, question. Really, thank you to all for... Uh, your amazing questions and to actually to create this nice uh, environment on this virtual uh, <laughs> this virtual uh, world that is it's nice because it's true I was a little bit stressed I was I never did that so and actually it's so nice so I, I wish we had more time but um, or we will be uh, around the table but uh, just to know that we are all from so many different countries it's it's amazing we can do this again sure <laughs> okay so bay is next moving along so hey, hi hi yeah you said bear yeah bear from denmark denmark okay nice yeah. to meet you nice to meet you thank you so much for doing this <laughs> and yeah, you're in your car <laughs> I am in my car without <laughs> driving and <laughs> I didn't yeah. want to miss the meeting. So <laughs> um, first of all, love the shirt. <laughs> Gotta say, <laughs> um, I have a question and I'm sorry for not brushing up on, uh, on all your work, but have you done theater before? And if you have or haven't, would you like to do it, do theater? Um, I, I mean, I did uh, an acting school, so it was we were working um, theater uh, thing, uh, but I never, I never did a play, never. Uh, actually, I I really like to go to the theater. I really what I um, what I know about theater in acting since I did this acting school, I loved it. There is something that I different that I don't have in, in the, how you say that in the, the cinema, but uh, I, it's the reason why I don't look for play in theater. It's stupid. You're going to laugh, but um, it's, I'm like claustrophobic to know that I have to be on 
it's stupid, but it blocked me that I know that I have to be on stage. And if I don't know, I don't feel good and I, I can't say, sorry, I just need two minutes to know that I can't do that and that I can do that on set on a, you know, on a movie, you can't, you can't, you can't say, but not on, on stage and, and me. And I don't know, I panic. I can't, it's, it's stupid. Maybe one day I will. Okay. I will, um, um, move on. I mean, I will, I will not care about that or not be scared about that. I don't know why extra this. It's really stupid, but for now is that's the reason. Yeah, I don't think it's stupid. I, I completely understand. <laughs> I understand. But I would, I would, I would, I would love one day to, 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 to not be scared because I'm sure it, it's an experience like amazing because you, you, you share with the public in, 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 you know, in the same ins in, in instant, instant, and uh, and that is for me, and that is for me amazing to meet the the people after the the play to to you know it's uh and go through the character each night every night every day and each time to to really have the sensation to go from the from the beginning to the end because when you shoot a movie you never do uh in chronolo chronological so you <coughs> feel your character but not really the story you know mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, so that is something. Yes, I missed, and that is something on the Odiar film. It was the first time I, I I did that, and I loved it. He asked that right before shooting, we went to a theater, and all the actors and actresses, and all the extras also, and a small role, and we did like it was a play. We did all the movie. Uh, from the beginning to the end in the order and we were all seeing each other play like it's a play and uh, that was fabulous because I really had the sensation of of my of my character of my role and the others in the story that is amazing yeah I hope to one day to see you in a play <laughs> and, and also I just want to yes it means that I feel better <laughs> I have less fears <laughs> I hope so yeah and I just want to say that my favorite movie from yours is uh, Heaven and Wait I love you in that movie you're exceptional in that movie thank you thank, thank you for you doing that. Much. bye thank you. take care bye okay so next is you ready to go? Yeah. Um, yes. Are they here? Oh yeah, yeah I'm here. here. Oh yeah, hi. okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, hi. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Great. Oops. Bonsoir, of course. Okay. So we are more, more in the, the same time zone, so it's I assume it's easier for me. Uh, I have actually a very serious question. Uh, what was the time in your life when you realized that you are raising a pit bull dog? That I was rising. What is rising? Raising. 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 You have a pit bull dog. Uh, what was there a point where you understood that John that Gino is a pit bull? Um, when I realized that, <laughs> do you realize it? Because you might not. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you're not. No, I mean I know that is uh, like to to have. Uh, I don't know if it's the same in all the country, but uh, Gino, it's so an Amer American stuff. Yeah. So he needs to have, uh, in French, we have that thing that American staff are not pit bull because <laughs> pit bull are, um, are not completely pure. That's the French uh, thing. And American staff, yes, they're uh, on the lofé. They have the love uh, thing. And so pit bull is normally forbidden of, they can't reproduce, they, uh, uh, they can't reproduce. And the and the category one, and Gino is category two because he's American <laughs> stuff. I, I just wanted to say I, I just wanted to ask if how can you cope with that? 
because those are very difficult dogs. Oh, but so uh, American stuff, so the category two. So that I know that it was not a pit bull, but American stuff. And I have to have a permit, like a license. You can't. Yeah. So I know since the beginning, because I knew that to have him, I have to go to the police, make a license, may, m- go to see a... Go to see a comportamentalist for the dog and for me. So I knew since the beginning, since there is all this law. That's why I, I don't know if it's the same in other country. And actually, I was so I wanted a dog always, but I, I was scared because I know that he he's it will not be an easy dog. I mean, it, yeah. it, it can be it can be dangerous like all the dogs. But he can be more dangerous because he has more power, more um... correct. And so, actually, I think it's one of the best things that happened in my life is Gino because I, I I had to learn to stupid but to say no to him is the first thing that I had to learn, and and that it changed a lot of things in my life, like in my actual life and way to. To stand for yourself. I'm the only. I'm, I'm the owner of on, of Gino. I'm, I'm c'est moi la, la comment dire. Uh, oui, c'est maîtresse. C'est moi la la, la, la maîtresse de, de Gino. Open, yeah. So uh, there is not an uh, uh, the one. It's it's me. So I have a responsibility, and uh, and uh, I have to make him understand that I'm the chief. So for me, it's. Weird, and at the same time, chief in the way, not like a bad way, but just to give him a, a cadre to not uh, actually uh, uh, be crazy. And uh, it's hard to explain in English, but uh, to be, I get it, you know, more calm. Do, do, you, do you enjoy it? I, I enjoy the discipline, it. the discipline, because when you pick up a dog, usually. Uh, if you are familiar with dogs, then I don't, I, for some reason, it's not related to, to the conversation, but I think it's very funny because I've seen the, the video with you, uh, with the microphone, and you shot him. I don't know if you remember. The microphone. You were in there with the microphone, and you were singing, and then you oh, shot yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. remember that? Yeah, yes. Uh, I, I think you have that in you, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. <laughs> control of the situation but I think you're right it was a joke but I think you really thought it was uh, <laughs> fine thank you for your time thank you. thank you all those years of singing Celine Dion just yeah. really paid off now you can actually <laughs> use the microphone to karaoke um okay so the next person is wait a minute who's next me yeah is next. Okay. hi i'm in uh, houston texas it's a pleasure to talk with you um and i'm very happy for this community because uh i was fortunate enough to see portrait in the theaters before uh COVID hit and then i was grateful for this community to show us the rest of your work your previous work um i agree i loved you in uh, heaven will wait and paper flags as well uh but one my question was related to return of the hero Um, I thought your, your caricature of your, your person was just hilarious. I think you'd be great in comedy. Is that something that interests you at all? I think you have fantastic comedic timing. You have me laughing most of the time today. So, oh, thank you. Uh, I'm le- I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm even less sure about myself in comedy because I think it's, for me, it's the hardest thing to do comedy. Because you have to find an extreme sincerity, but at the same time, you have to also be careful on a, a rhythm. It's all about rhythm mm-hmm. and um, and rupture, way more than in tragedy or dra- drama. Like, and that is really hard. Like for me, it's the the to to make people laugh. It's the hardest thing for an actor. I mean. For, for me uh and um i loved i loved to 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 do it it was i thought it would uh, have been like more cool okay i don't do a drama uh, anymore it will be cool i will be i will have fun on set 
I had fun on set with Melanie a lot uh, and Jean Dujardin. I had a lot of fun, but it was so exhausting, <laughs> so exhausting. And uh, I wish I do. Uh, uh, I liked in Jacodia uh, movie. I don't know if if some of you see, seen it, but they, it's a comedy. There is a and it's it's the second movie for me. I, I could. Uh, Tom Perignon. That's huh? the movie. Uh, the, the Voyage of Tom Perignon. Oh no! Uh, oh, the Voyage of Monsieur Perignon. No, no, that no. The, uh, I think you're talking about Le Retour du Héros, right? The Return of the Hero. Yes, I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Le Retour du Héros. Du, le Retour du Héros. The other one is. I had really no, I, I meant that that was the other uh, comic uh, performance yeah. that you Jacques did. Jacques Audiard movie called Les Olympiades, Paris 13th District. It's it's not a comedy, but it, 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 it is also a comedy, this movie. It's not just a comedy, but it, it, there is a comedy in it. And uh, he wanted us to play all the time, he asked me, to play as it's a comedy, Noemi. Like uh, uh, have fun and you know make people laugh. Like it's and so it was. Uh, it's I don't know. It's it's just uh, for me. It's, it's it's slightly different. You have really to to still be sincere, but it's in another space. Mm -hmm. It's weird. I don't know how to explain that, but. Uh, um, no, the time yeah, is, I, the time I, is I, I hope I would do it. more mm -hmm. comedy. Well, I think you're hilarious in, in, in that. And uh, I think your sincerity shows through in everything that you do. So I think you could play it well as well. Thank you, Thank you. very much. Where are you from, you said? Houston, Texas. Okay. I don't have a Southern drawl. I'm sorry about that. You, you don't have what? A Southern accent, a drawl. Sorry about that. I know, but I love. It's nice accents. <laughs> I love. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I can't wait to see that Paris 13th District thing, by the way. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> like, ever since I saw the trailer, I'm like, I have to see that. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I, I, I really enjoyed, enjoyed it, to watch it. There is a four uh, characters in it. It's uh, an amazing black and white movie. Uh, the music also is amazing i mean I, I can't wait that it's out to to see the reaction of the people because i think it's uh it's really different from what uh jaco is uh uh done before no so it's for, yeah um when does it when is it released does anyone know oh in france or in in general i don't uh in other countries i don't know in france it will be out in november Oh, okay. Um, okay, so it's your turn. Thank you. Hi, Noemi. Uh, hi. Hi, I'm from San Francisco. So thank you for taking the time to meet with us and to have this personal interaction. So my, I'm going to ask my question re really quickly. Um, it's about portrait. Are there any scenes that you shot but didn't make it into the final movie? Are there any deleted scenes? I don't think so. It's maybe the, the only movie I shot, there is no deleted scenes. We heard from Celine there was a yeah. reverse shot. There was a reverse shot on you in the theater, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's not a complete scene, but it's a take of... Um, I think she wanted, in case she know in her head that she wanted to end. The f it it was written like you saw, like it was written. Uh, you finish with uh, Adele, uh, uh, Eloise, uh, and it's like that. But while we were um, uh, shooting the, in this uh, theater, uh, we did. Uh, a part uh, 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 the beginning of the scene on me when I go to the uh, the chair to the sit, and 
she had they had to build up all the construction to make the last take on Adele. It was a, a lot of um, installation. It was uh, kind of long, and I think in case since the camera was there, she said, "Let's let's try to do a, a take in case uh, in 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 case I need it. We never know, but uh, I don't think I will use it. But let's just do a take." And before we we moved the camera on on Adele, and so we did um, we did the same thing like the music, me watching uh, Adele and uh, go through the different emotions that the music and the souvenirs gives me, uh, me or uh, Marianne. Yeah, and that is not in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I don't know. I never. I never looked. Uh, does someone know if in the the DVD there there is no bonus? There is nothing. No. No. So no. you didn't we, shoot the you didn't shoot the I love you scene. That's actually in the strip. The I love you scene. You guys said I love you in the script. You got like, in the script, the script. There was a moment when you say I love you to each other, but or the characters. I don't remember that. It's crazy. When? Oh, I'm so curious. <laughs> it's um, it's after the water, after you, the water kissing scene. Then you look at the, find the finished picture. That was in the script that we all read. But when you're on drugs, <laughs> you said that was when you guys were on drugs. <laughs> Wondering, do I have my script here? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the holy grail noemi the real script <laughs> i know i have it somewhere in all my uh noemi sell that for like a million dollars please I, i'll yes, buy it please. yeah we're, i'll we're buy, buy it, it. <laughs> auction it all for charity mm. The only thing, oh, it's funny because this is the only, uh, I have it right next to me. I don't have the script is somewhere, but this is the book. I, you, you, uh, when I, when I started shooting, I always write down the scenes in a book because I learn it from, from me writing. It's easier than from the script. And so that was the, um, When I right before I started the movie of Portrait, I write write down all the scenes. So this is all the the scenes of Portrait, uh, with dialogues that I I write I write down. And, oh my god! Uh, so let no, me please polish that. I want to see it. So <laughs> Harry, bad. I love you. You remember? Really? What, what yeah, it's it? in it's in uh, scene fifty four, I think. Fifty I think it's I think it's uh after the fight, right? No, no, no. It's it's uh, after the drugs. You went to get water, and then oh, after the kiss, you sat on the bed and look at the picture i think well okay i don't know i don't say it is okay no, that's... nobody, nobody <laughs> anyway knows, nobody knows what uh it's 54 so uh, 54 you said yeah five four yes everybody's looking at their script right now <laughs> no big i don't remember that Those lucky to to Look, to have it because it was a extremely limited edition. It says right here. Me in my book, I don't have a 54. So in my script, it means that in 54 they had no dialogues. Do you think that was cut out when you yeah, get I the script? I think it was probably cut before the script. Before you get like, I do will, you get a I different will, edition? I will tell you, I will find my I will find my script. Not now because uh, it's. Noemi, 
Look but at Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel has, has, Mel has the I script. Have, I have the script. See, I have this thing they sold us. It was for, it was for Korea. It was in Korean. But um, I, I'm sure it's this, you know, the, when you shoot a, a movie, you have a 10 script, like the, the, there is a lot of uh, details that are not changes uh, that change a little bit, you know, so uh, right here it I, says that you said I love you. Can you, can you go bigger? Marianne. See. That's it was in the script. We, we'll send you we'll send you a screenshot. We don't For yeah. sure we did. Yeah, we can yeah. send you the pictures, but like yeah. For like, sure they didn't shoot it. I think yeah. we need a follow up on this and <laughs> let's get the next person. <laughs> that is, okay. In fact, we didn't shoot that. I don't remember that we shoot that. But uh, I'm glad we had this conversation it. though, because it's a very important. <laughs> yes, <laughs> everybody's wondering about. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, next, next question. No, no, the next please. question is <laughs> is HC. It's finally HC's turn. All right. Um. Hi, Noemi. This Where one. are you? Okay. Hi. Ah, uh, hi. Um, I, I'm from Taiwan, so it's like um, it's like two a.m. for me now. It's wow. probably three. Yes. So I'm a little okay. bit. Uh, I'm very sleepy and excited, and I'm afraid I'll wake up and realize this is a dream, <laughs> and I never had this. I it's just dreaming, <laughs> and uh, I have a. Sorry, can you hear me? I say thank you to be awake. Uh, oh, no, thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, I, I have, uh, I think, somewhat lighthearted questions for you, but I kind of forget what it is. Uh, okay, uh, if you were not an actress, what, what would you do? Um, a director? You mean if I was not in cinema? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like you're not a director, uh, not an actress. That's a good question. That's a good question because I remember when I, I, I started at the beginning, I was so not sure that it would work, you know, uh, that I will do, like I will do it really professionally. So my parents were real estate Mm. So completely different but i was always right. saying if it doesn't work i know it's it's a job you don't really need to have a big uh, like to go to a school for a long like so i was you know all my family does did that so i was in case uh, but then later i was uh, if it didn't work i could never do this job because it's just not me at all i was just telling that to myself that I would do that if I don't have a job, but actually I would never be able to do that because it's just not me. So sell house? Yeah, <laughs> it's not me. It's just something that all my family do, So, uh, but uh, it's not me at all. I don't know what would have... I don't know. It's a really good question. I don't... I can't imagine my life without... I think I would it would be in art i don't know right. what in art but it would be in art or if it's not professionally things that i do i i would uh i don't know maybe have a little a, a little restaurant or a little shop or a little farm i don't know mm. but uh, in case you have a restaurant just let us know we'll yeah I'll go there yeah, yeah. maybe you and david i don't know <laughs> yeah Okay, so next is Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Noemi. Hi. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Um, Jeff, I want to say that I love your shirt. Um, um, I actually have that phrase tattooed on my arm. I got it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It means a lot to me, uh, that phrase. Um, I don't know. It holds great meaning to me, and... Um, 
um, I carry that throughout my life and, and everything like that. Um, I'm actually from Naples, Florida. Um, I also want to say thank you for being here. Um, it's I just for taking the time, you know, out of your busy day to just to come talk to us. It's such a cool thing and we really appreciate it and we love you and we love all the work that you do and we support you and you're super talented. Um, so I actually make some of the music for Milan Academy and uh, one of my questions is like, do you play any um, instruments and you know, how many instruments do you play or? No, I would love, I did the little piano when I was young, but I, I lost all. I wish it's one of my big regrets is that I don't play any instruments, mm. but um, I like to sing. <laughs> I think it's not an instrument, but I like to sing. Um, yeah. If you could play any instrument, you know, what would it be? Like if you just magically had the ability to play an, any instrument, what would you pick? I think, I don't know between piano and violon. I like yeah, both. I know, you know. But I kind I kind of want to try, but I'm sure it's really hard. Uh accordion also. How do you say accordion? Accordion. Oh, the, accordion, yeah. That is something I would I would like to. But I want to buy uh harmonica. Oh harmonica? Yeah, harmonica. I want to yeah. yeah. try. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm sure it's hard, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, that'd you know cool. a little bit? Oh, I don't. I don't. I wish. I wish I did. I just play guitar. Um, I've been playing for about 10 years. But yeah, no, harmonica is, that'd be really cool to learn, I think. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Noemi, uh, Taylor has made a lot of uh, covers of Fate and other of your songs uh, oh. for some videos that we have made for uh, the Insta page. So oh, really? she has been really helpful with that. She actually oh, played a song for your ber happy birthday birthday video uh, yes. for you. I she played that song. Yeah, yeah, she played that. Yeah. yeah, I remember. She's she's the one. And yeah, she's the one that has been making the music. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't just do that. Okay, wow, wow, so talented. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, it was nice to uh, talk to you and. Thank you for being here. It's but, amazing. And I'm just thank starstruck. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome, and bravo. You. <laughs> okay, next is Mage. Mage's turn. No, I go I go last. Uh, Nina can go. Okay, Nina can go. Okay. Hi, Noemi. I'm Nina Hi. from Los Angeles. It's nice to Hi. meet you. And thank you, of course, for taking the time to hang out with us. Um, I just wanted to, of course, say thank you on behalf of the entire Portrait Nation community that you've really made. Actually, all of you ladies uh, have made it such a huge impact on our lives. And um, my question for you is, if the opportunity uh, ever came up and it really captured your interest, would you consider working on an animated film, like doing voiceovers? I would like, I would love. Yeah. I would have, love. You, have you seen the film um, Marona's Fantastic Tale? No. Okay. So this is a movie I'd like to recommend for you and Gino. Um, this is actually one of my favorite films from last year, of course, other than Portrait. But yeah. um, it's by a Romanian uh, director, Anka yeah. Damian. And I'm going to try to attempt to say it in French. It's actually a French language film. It's uh, L'Extraordinaire Voyage de Marona. L'Extraordinaire, wait, I just take, uh, I don't have my phone. I wanted to take a screenshot to not. We can send that to we you can, too. We'll send it to you. We can send okay. it to you, yeah. Yes, please, okay, yes, yeah. I think it's a, a great film that you and Gino would enjoy. Um, and then it does have bonus features where you can hear from the director's point of view as well on her, on her process on making the film. Well, thank you. <laughs> have you? Thank you very seen, much. Yeah, no problem. Have you seen any films recently that have made 
um, an impact on you, um, something that really uh, had an emotional impact on you? Uh, what did I so recently that I had a huge impact? Huh. I saw a movie, but it's funny. I I don't know why I think about this movie that I saw on my computer uh, that I never seen before, which is an old movie, an old French movie. And it had an impact, but kind of in a bad way, but it had an impact uh, called La Piscine, the swimming pool. It just, it was a sensation, just how... Um, Alain de all the scene when Alain Delon, just the way he touched the the um, Romy Schneider, the actress, just the way it articulates of 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 the way to touch her and to try to it 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 was really I don't know why but it was I think maybe a couple of years ago it since i'm not aware on this i would not have been i don't know but it it make me feel felt bad but uh i'm not not talking about an idea it really was just a sensation of oppression oppression i don't know i don't know why exactly it's, it's really i saw it like a couple of days ago so it's really recent it, it just um, and I'm not even talking about the, the movie in general and all what, you know, says the movie. It's just a sensation. So that was a, an impact in, in my head, but I didn't really analyze it yet. So, yeah. And a good impact, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know recently. Uh, I don't know. Nothing comes to my mind right now, so I'm sorry. Okay, so Thank I'm sorry, you. I have to move it along. There's yep. only like three more people. Thank you. Um, is next? Where are you? Hola. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hey. My name is Thank you, Isabella. Tá aí, Isabella. Yeah. I, I will translate uh, her question for you, Noemi. Okay. I'm okay. doing Thank as well, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> eu acho até que ela já comentou a pergunta que eu ia fazer sobre os novos projetos dela, né? Mas posso perguntar também sobre se ela conhece, assim, na cinematografia brasileira, tem algum filme que ela gosta do Brasil? Ok, so uh, she's asking what are your next projects and if you know some Brazilian films that you like? Um, so my next project, I, I didn't finish the movie that I would finish pretty soon of uh, André Téchiné. It's a French director. Um, I just did an, an independent movie in, uh, so it's my first American movie um, in English. Uh, so, um, called Baby Ruby. And I can't really say more. Uh, I do another film uh, that I start in a couple of days, but I'm sorry, I can't say nothing about it. Uh, so, but, uh, and then I, I, I stop in February to, to try to do my own uh, next movie with, uh, with my, my friends. Um, with, uh, yeah, so uh, as a director. And, um, I'm so bad to remember Brazilian movies. 
I'm so bad to to I have to to I have to check if nothing comes in my mind right now because I'm I don't want to make mistake saying it's Brazilian and it's not you know but uh, <laughs> no problem. Um, but I will post it. I will post my my. I would do that. I will post my uh, favorite Brazilian movie to share. Because okay. right now, I'm sorry, nothing comes in in my in my head. Sorry, <laughs> but thank no you very much. I wish I I speak Brazilian, but uh, I I don't. Sorry, no, no problem. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now wait. Um, the next person is Mary. Is Mary even still here? Mary. I am here. Hi, Mary? Yeah, you got a question, Mary? Yeah, yeah. Okay. First, first I want to second what uh, what Sue uh, talked about, uh, about loving your work and uh, the amazing, amazing work you do and uh, the variety of uh, characters and so forth. And uh, I personally have a very visceral reaction to you. So <laughs> it's a good thing we're, we're thousands of miles apart. So that's, that's humor. Thank you very, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I love your wardrobe um, uh, and your, and the person who makes the wardrobe for you, uh, lovely, lovely outfits and so forth. What but is also, wardrobe? Also, can, can someone uh, translate me wardrobe? What is wardrobe? Oh, oh, oh. Clothes. Oh. Clothes. Okay. The clothes. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> sorry. No, sorry. Me. It's me. Uh, the, um, yeah, I also like the short hair. So. Uh, okay. Good to know because it it has more in, must must impact that long, huh? But yeah. uh, actually, it's it's cooler, but in the same in the same way, it's less uh, less work for me. I don't yeah. know. If, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, and I I had to I have to notice in the in the various photos I've seen you. Uh, doing obvious yoga poses when you were oh yeah the two of you were out in, in the in a uh, like picnic tables and you were on the ground doing a twist and uh Adele is looking at you and so forth like uh like what are you doing and uh so I figured you did yoga and also I saw you uh one of the uh, the rest periods or whatever during the filming of um the por portrait, uh, you are um, on your back and uh, your hand, left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. And so were you meditating then? And do you have a re regular meditative process? And if so, I assume that helps in your work. Um, uh, I, I did med meditation and, 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 and yoga a couple of years ago, more intense more intense oh la la. sorry uh, in a way more intense now less but uh, I'm all the time on the floor that is something that <laughs> I don't know why uh, when I shoot when I do a promotion uh, and when I'm in people uh, place I don't know why but often I need to to but since I'm young I do that I I, I need to maybe feel the ground on the ground right. i don't know yeah. it's something so right. yeah it's so it's often that uh, maybe you would see pictures of me on the floor i don't know why <laughs> but um yeah yeah the stretching i mean uh, i remember that we after uh, it was in la this photo with adele and me on the floor oh, yeah. but She's used to to see me on the floor, so she was not that surprised. <laughs> uh, but um, but it was a long, long trip uh, to LA. I'm really, uh, I, I'm you know. So I was, I think, I was stretching because uh, because uh, you know af after 12 hours your body is kind of mixed up. So uh, 
I, I stretch. Yeah, I think that's why. That that's the reason of this photo. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, and just one quick question. Um, in your and you can just answer yes or no, whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, the scene of you're jumping into the water from the bateau. Yeah. Was it you? Oh. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no, because um, we wanted to try. I, I had a body double in case. We wanted uh -huh. to try that I jump. Uh -huh. uh, but at the last minute, like I was scared and they were scared too, because we were really into the water, into the yeah. ocean. So yeah. quite far from... It was in October, uh, the end of October, or beginning of November, so it was really cold. My dress was really heavy, so with the water, even more heavy. And I had to. Sh it was the beginning of the shooting, so the first day actually of the shooting. So if something happened, then it's all the rest You're of the fine. movie. Like <laughs> no, so. They were kind of okay. It's not that easy to jump because with this dress uh the temperature of the water you can have a you know it's you can have a shock like be not feeling really good so the jump i didn't do it it's a body double who did it but when i swim uh right after when i swim uh, to get the 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 pain in the box then it's me so uh -huh. I was, uh, it was really hard scene for uh, yes. even for um um, uh, Claire Maton that was in the water too oh. with, the, with the people of the crew you know it was there was a lot of wind and a lot of um, a vague uh, waves uh, so it it was really hard for everybody not only for me but uh, we shot like for 20-30 minutes in the water uh, I, I had a combinaison under my dress, so it was cold, but not that cold, even if my combinaison was cut, so the water was coming in, but it was not that bad. It was yeah. not that bad, so I could do the swimming. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you, me too. Okay, so who's next? Is it? Bonsoir, Naomi. <laughs> um, so Hi. I've been um, helping translate a little bit of your interviews, so I hope that I've oh. done them justice. Uh, justice. Uh, but I was wondering what whether you had a favorite movie as a kid or growing up, partially because um, I'm curious what you liked growing up and it would be it would be good to learn continue to improve my French by watching more French movies um but actually when I grew up one of my favorite movie was a uh, Titanic so it was oh. it was not a yeah it I mean it was the first movie I saw on cinema that had a real impact on me um but I think for a lot of people actually for Celine too uh, I'm wondering about French films that I I watched that I was not uh, a lot in cinema like I was um, I don't know uh, my environment, family. We were not so much into cinema. I was a lot on TV, and that was. Uh, I I I watched I watched a lot of films when I started. You know, I left my family. I went to Paris to start the acting school, and then it's with the people I met uh, that I had more culture that I start to cinema culture that I start to really watch a lot of movies and that with my pa passion, pa pa passion, passion about movies starts. And it's where I started to discover uh, Godard, Truffaut, uh, I mean, all the French famous director and 
all the others too, you know. Uh, with my sister, the only thing is with my sister when when uh, we were kid, my sister uh, was a big big fan of uh, Asiatic movies. So uh, I think the only movies we watched together that we rent at the DVD place, you know, we we could rent DVDs, uh, not DVDs, cassettes and DVD, and we rent. She rents and me, I follow her because she's my older sister. And so, and I loved it. And we watch a lot of Korean movies, uh, Japanese movies, uh, um, and uh, or a lot of horror movie too. A lot. And, uh, and uh, film de combat also. So all my, my childhood uh, and adolescence, I was watching these movies a lot with her. Um, the French famous movies I discovered later. The, the only uh, ones I know that I watch a lot was Les Bronzés Fonds du Ski. Uh, you know, I don't know if you know all, all these French, uh, the Les, Le Splendide. I don't know if you know Le Splendide. It's a group of, of actors, really funny. And they did uh, a lot of movies. Uh, Les Bronzés, they did um, Le Père Noël est une ordure. Uh, I watch a lot of the, of this with my family. Yeah, I don't know if I answered. Cool, well, thank you, uh, and thank you for all of your really insightful and fun um, just responses. It's been really uh, nice to hear from you. Um, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm just trying to speed it up so that way we're not taking up too much of your time. Um, Adriana is next. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. yeah. How are you? Fine, thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Adriana from Mexico. Uh, a quick question. Uh, is there any advice you would like to give to a uh, younger Noemi? Ha, a younger uh, <laughs> question. Um, yes. Uh, but less about about the, the professional thing. Actually, it it comes in in professional things. But learn to say more. Um, no, actually, sooner, like younger, to be more. Um, um try to 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 be. It's not about being sure about myself, but try uh, uh, how, know how to put limits. You know, no, uh, learn how to say no, uh, to 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 say more when I don't agree. Uh, it could have helped me for some situation in professional situation, uh, friend situation, or or even uh, with a, a, a situation with man men or in love in general like it's something that i would have learned as 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 a girl but i think it happens to men also uh some people it's hard to to say to say no or to say uh what because i don't know we don't want to hurt we don't want, want to i don't know why actually but uh yeah something like that i think thank you thank you thank very you for much. your time nice to meet you nice to meet you too Okay, I'm so sorry. I know this is taking way longer than it we intended. I'm trying to hurry it up here. Um, so Sibs is next. Sibs. Hello, this is Sibs. I don't see you. Where are you? Over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you for joining us today and taking time out of your day. Um, I have a very easy question for you. Um, my question is, oh yeah, um, but I have an easy question for you. My question is, what is your morning routine? Uh, so what do you like to uh, drink in the morning? What do you like to do? Food? Uh, what do you like to eat? Um, I'm starving when I wake up, so... I, I uh, eat uh, sweets. I eat cereals like like when I was a kid. <laughs> and uh, 
and uh, and coffee, uh, coffee latte and orange juice. <laughs> That's my typical. Uh, um, but um, there is a difference when I'm not in a rush. I'm not shooting. I don't have to be, you know, in good shape or. Uh, or I know that I have to not eat bad or shitty things. Sure. And there is the Noemi where I, okay, I need just to have to have to have some uh, love. I mean, to have some. So, yeah. so sometime I'm, I do like good breakfast with the good, good things to eat, but it doesn't happen en uh, enough. What does that look like? Um eat more, I don't know, more healthy things. So fruits uh, with, uh, um, with um, a yogurt, but it's not really yogurt, but it's, uh, you know, uh, yogurt. Uh, um, uh, I don't know how to say that in English, but like kind of a yogurt with fruits, with the healthy things, you know, with the uh, uh, tea, with the uh, fresh juice uh, but that that does it happens when i i have nothing to do i mean when i have a cool uh, a cool day or a cool week or a cool uh, it's mm, yeah yeah I, I hope you have more days like that and enjoy yourself <laughs> uh for me i like i like getting into like croissants and pancakes and things like yeah, that croissant too croissant i agree yeah pain au chocolat yeah oh uh, yeah yes, yes. <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> thank you okay so now it's my turn finally <laughs> so, um, um i don't know i don't have i i'm trying to think of what like i had like i had like 20 questions and now they're all like gone because you're like right here but um then i just really enjoyed the film and seeing what you've done seeing you blossom as a actor and and it's 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 amazing you you really come into your own so don't I mean you, you sometimes you think oh I'm not going anywhere you are going somewhere I've seen it like I've seen the progress and like it's just awesome your confidence is like way up your English is perfect I mean I'm sure everyone here will agree your English is like way better than than it's ever been and um I can't wait to see what you do guys. I I'm I live in New York. So yeah. I'm here in New oh, York. I was, I was in uh, New York uh, two days ago. <laughs> I wish I had a free time to visit and but I had no time to I, I was uh, in Kingston, so I was quite far from the city, but uh, I wish I I could visit and I, I couldn't. But nice. Well, um, You're in the city yeah. or you're around? Yeah, I live in Manhattan. So okay. I live like yeah. And um, I, I, I don't know. I just want to say you're doing a great job. I can't wait to see what you're doing next. Um, we can't wait for, you know, the 13th district. We can't wait for that. And, and ever since we saw the trailer, we've all been like, oh, can't, we have to see that the second it comes out. And Jumbo was amazing. Like, I mean, it was under, uh, underrated by everybody. I thought it was amazing because oh, for you. a first for a first time director and you doing such a hard role it's like i, I don't know no, most people couldn't do that so but I, I, I zoe is an incredible woman uh, she is a uh, she's really talented and it, she wait eight years to do this movie eight years because that that's quite long so uh, um So yeah, and I, I I know now she has a lot of opportunity in America to, to do movies, so it's it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, she has a weird thing is she has no accent. It's strange to have someone who has in, speaks in English. English and French, but in English she has no accent. She talks like me. So yeah, it's, she it's traveled weird. so much in her life since she's young. <laughs> So, and I think she, she lived, uh, yeah, she did a school in America and she lived a couple of years in America. So I think, I think she improved her English, but she's, uh, it's uh, amazing how like talented she is in a lot of um, a different discipline. This woman is uh, actually ama amazing. But yeah, but anyways, to, just to reassure you, you are doing a great job. And your English is great and your accent is not, it's, it's not like you're unintelligible. Everybody can understand you. You're doing great. So 
Thank you very much. So, someday I'd love to actually interview you, but well, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> someday maybe, but that's that's so all. You're, I have a to journalist, say. you're a journalist. You're a journalist, or just? I, yeah, I, I I mean I I I I've dabbled, and I just haven't been that involved. There's an organization in in Paris um, that was started by an American who is actually becoming uh, French right now. Um, called lesbian part it's not just for lesbians it's just that she does a lot of film and stuff and um yeah someday i would love to interview you for that but 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 i don't have any questions i just think you're awesome and just wanted to tell you that you're awesome. you. <laughs> yeah. next time you have question for you you tell me thank you very much <laughs> okay. okay and the next the next person is i don't know how to pronounce oh, yeah. that hello hello From um, where? Um, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. That's it. And uh, if you're coming to Latin America eventually, what do you think about Latin America? Sorry, Can I you don't speak? hear you. Your mic closer to your oh, mouth. Oh, yes. Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Latin America? When are you coming? About Latin America? Yeah, Latin America. I never been. I, never. I, yeah, never. I never been to Latin America, and that's it's my dream. But I want to go everywhere. I do, I don't you know. So yeah, <laughs> I, need I recommend to come to Peru. <laughs> In Peru, yes, Peru and very close, so it's great. I think eight yeah. hours by plane, right? I don't, know, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know, but I want, I, I really need. If I go, since it's quite long the trip, I, uh, the plane, I really want oh, to yeah. stay a long time to be able to visit all this uh, in Brazil in countries because there is, yeah, there is a uh, Argentina, uh, Mex yeah. uh, Peru, Ecuador, Brazil. I mean, there is so much mm -hmm. Mexico, uh, yeah. I, I hope one day, really. Well, we're waiting in case you're wondering. <laughs> cool. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Is is that it? Do we get everybody? Mm. I think it's just Mage now, right? Who didn't? Yeah, Mage. Okay. Um. Do you, don't you want to say hi? Who? Say hi. hi. How are hi, you? Dog. I just want to show you my dog. Hi. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Bandit. Bandito. Oh, so cute. Thank you. So cute. You. Say hi, Bandit. <laughs> oh. No, I just want to say thank you for your time. And we all love you so much. And if I can ask a quick question, is that okay? Yeah, of course. Um, I see that you go to the French Open tennis tournament. The to French the Open? Tennis? The French Open? Roland Garros? Roland Garros. Ah, to Roland Garros. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't I... been since uh, two years now. Oh, okay. Why? What's your question? I'm, I'm not oh, sure. I just want to know if you're a big tennis fan and some of your favorites are your favorite players. Oh, I am. Uh, I like it. It's. Uh, I, I. I've been invited, and I. I didn't really know uh, a lot about tennis, and I. I since I was invited, I. I like to discover it, and uh, I really enjoyed it actually. Uh, and so now, when I can go, I go, uh, because because I. I, I, I had, I, I'm really imp impressed about, about it, but um, I can't say that I'm uh, a huge fan or that I know well, you know, but uh, are you? I am, yes. Yeah. Who is your favorite uh, player? Um, for the men, I'd say Federer, Roger Federer. Yeah. And for the women, Naomi Osaka. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for answering. Cool, but th thank you to, to you.
Mage before so, you, I think. Gio, um, Gio yeah, yeah, to, sure. Yeah. But I want to ask Jennifer, don't you want to say hi to? Yeah, because, yeah, I didn't talk to Jennifer. Yeah, Is Jennifer. Just hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Where are you okay. Where are I guess, you? Yeah, from? I just wanted to. Uh, I don't. Um, Maryland. So, okay. opposite coast, there's a lot of people from California. <laughs> okay, good. Um, and yeah, just basically echoing what everyone else has been saying. We love you and uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to all of us today. Well, thank you to you to take the, this time too. It's it's a nice moment, really nice moment. Thank you. Yeah, um, I guess I do have a quick question. Yeah, sure. Now um, with you directing more, do you see yourself continuing to find more projects to direct and I guess also acting like balancing both or maybe sticking with one or the other? Um, I actually think that I always wanted to do both, but I was maybe not confident enough to be, to dream about more about directing because acting was already so hard directing. I was not sure enough about myself, but I'm still not completely, but it's getting better since I, uh, j'ai franchi le pas. I stepped to, and actually to be a, a, an actress helped me being a director. Mm -hmm. Like I, 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 uh, it's, I can't, it's not more easy, but it give me some, uh, you know, so, mm -hmm. um, I really want to do both. And so at the same time, I think it's a good thing because, uh, then I really ch even choose more, um, what movie I want to play in as an actress. And it's always dangerous for an actor to wait. When you're only acting, you wait. Uh, you can wait a lot, a, a lot. And uh, and I, I like to to also be able to be able. I don't know if I'm able, but I, I to decide to be a director too. It's because I really have things to say that I can't in, in, in the role I do because you you fit in, actually you fit in the vision of a director. Even if you agree with this vision, you don't, you know, there is still things that you want to share and that you don't. And so I really need, uh, there is a lot of things that I want to, to, to express, to say. And so that's why I want to continue to be a director. But at the same time, I can't, not play because it's my first love is is acting and i need it really much really a lot and i really love to participate to a vision of a director so i really want to do both really and i hope it will happen continue to happen that you never know but i i hope that's awesome thank you so much <laughs> thank you very much okay gil okay that's it. Hi, Noemi. Hey, so, Jill, um, I'm from Jill, the Philippines. Okay. So, before before Mage, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> so, thank you for sharing yourself to us. So, I mean, we are so lucky to be here to be given this opportunity, and it's been two hours already when we should be taking only one hour of your time. But anyway, uh, just thank you. And I just have a question. <laughs> just one more question. Um, when you were younger, you started singing and you you sang in the band and you started recording with Bayap. I actually took um, I I spent a lot of time, you know, just listening to Bayap and I really enjoyed it. Um, if there is one song that you love, uh, a favorite song or Bayap song, what is that song and why? Um, Bayap, yeah, it's, oh, I love that period of my life uh, with these friends. Um, which one I loved? I, I remember a lot of, about sm Smoke Me. 
I don't I it's funny I don't remember the lyrics because I I don't know but I just remember the um, I, I never listen again I can't listen myself singing so I, I can't so but I just remember the 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 melody and I sometimes it comes to my head and I I, I liked it but I don't remember what the the song talks about uh, I'm pretty scared to to know what <laughs> about about what it is because it was another time and um uh but yeah I would say this one thank you thank you Naomi you found you found them on internet I, d yes. I didn't even know that you find okay yeah we found Bayef in spot uh, Spotify oh really and also in YouTube Oh, yeah, we I listen to all those songs on Spotify. We listen yes. to them. We've all listened to them. I'm sorry. Everybody's saying it's in the really chat. Not for their, everybody everybody loves you. It's, it's all, it. all of our playlists. We it's listen to you. all the time. It's, it's really not professional. It was really with my friends. Like, I, oh, God, I didn't even know it was on the internet. Okay. You guys were cool. It's a, it just, sounded great. It's yeah. on it's it's on yeah the EP it's on iTunes. I bought it. Uh and so yeah, I, I, I hope you are doing uh, like uh, um how do you say uh when you earn the money from something you think? Your revenue, revenue, yeah, yeah. Of, no? yeah hope I because I, I, know. I don't know. I I, 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 I bought it. So uh, and more people bought it because I started uh, doing a campaign for everyone <laughs> to <laughs> to go and vote and invite you your EP. So well, okay. No. So with me, uh, I I want well. We have we are well over time, and we we are really really uh, grateful that you have been and i don't know if you are up for like a couple more questions or if you don't have any more time at all uh yeah let's fin uh, we can finish not everybody talks right right mm, no just a uh, uh, just three more questions yeah, i sure. think yeah we have and oh, yeah, sure. okay first um i think it was not he not he is Natty there? Yes. Yes, Natty. Please ask away. What's your dream role? What is your you know I me? Mean? Yeah. What is your dream role? I don't have a dream role, but what I dream is to do uh, a musical uh, in a movie, like to sing in a, I mean, a, a musical. Oh. I don't know, in comedy musical, that my, that is my dream, really. I would love to, to, yeah, I would love. And I know that you love Pocahontas. Yeah, I will, yeah, yeah. It was my favorite Disney. I, I it was my favorite one. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mami. Thank you. Um, Noemi, have you heard of uh, Anything Goes? This musical. Anything goes. Anything goes. No. Yeah, it, it was done by Patti Lupone on um, Broadway, and I think you will be great on on that uh, role. So and if you if hey. you any uh, you have any time to look up YouTube, uh, anything goes the, in the musical. Okay, uh, you will see. Thank you. <laughs> I look at it. And the next question is for uh, Isabella. Yep. Uh, hello, Noemi, again, a quick question. Um, so Portrait has no musical score except uh, Vivaldi and the Bonfire song. So uh, if you could choose a song to represent the movie, which one would it be? A song that is not in the movie, you mean? Yes. One of your own, one that you like. Like if it just captures the vibe of the movie. Yeah. It's hard because it, it, 
Um, so when I think about this movie, I I have so much Vivaldi in in my head. So it's really hard to think about another song. Do you have one when you think you uh, when you? I do. Uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart, <laughs> actually. Oh um, yeah, because of the turnaround. The, the... Yeah. Yeah. No, but there was a song that I was listening a lot with Celine mm. uh, at that moment, but it was the end of the shooting. But when I hear this song, I I think a lot about um, the movie and all this moment. And it's uh, the song of um, Mila Cyrus. Uh, let me just check. Uh, nothing uh, breaks like a heart. Uh, Miley Cyrus. It it is. Uh, nothing breaks like a heart. Just, uh, uh, I think it's that. Yeah, it's, nothing breaks yeah, like nothing a heart. Nothing breaks like a heart. So yeah. nothing breaks like a heart. Yeah, I think about portraits when I listen to it. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, well, uh, my question, <laughs> last question, will be that um, when you di direct, uh, how, what is your, the themes that you want to talk about, overall themes that drive your uh, directorial uh mine oh, what do you want to say through the cinematic language um that you can say really of uh as an actress because you are under the direction of another person but as a as a director uh have uh, what do you want to express most um What do I want to express more? It's a good question because it's a question I ask to myself as I'm, as I'm a new director. So I know that there is uh, things that I really want to talk about that are important for me because uh, they are really like some are personal, so, uh, some other uh, and uh i don't know how to say that but i don't have a global idea of why i'm doing this and why i want to do this i just know like uh there is this film i want to do it's about uh what my family went through and i want to talk about this kind of situation and i really need to talk about this kind of situation And um, I, I know that uh, I want to do a movie with my friends and talk about women. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, it's and another one that I want to do with my friends, uh, with Jimmy, with Razvan, with uh, uh, all together about uh, the gypsy community during the Second World War. So there is things that I want. I know that I want to do. Because I just feel that it's important. It's important. I don't know in general for me or for I don't. I can't explain it. But I just need to talk about to talk about it. It's visceral. Um, but in a global way, what I want to say through my films, like in general, I don't know. I don't know yet, but I, I'm asking myself this question because it's important to know, I think. Uh, I think well, it, I... Yeah? No, yeah. I, I think it's an ever-evolving thing, you know, but I wanted... Because I, I, I have seen Shakira um, and I know uh, about your, um, your social awareness and with the uh, uh, Romanian community. And so that's um, a theme that you are choosing to draw, double with 
right now. So, um, and not many uh, di directors are um, really talk about uh, about that, but other feelings or desires, and that's good. Uh, um so it's ever evolving but uh, i i wanted to know now you know now how are you feeling about that you know you know and well i i think it was uh, what you say is a really good answer and what i feel well, about the the fact to i'm sorry i didn't get it what i feel uh, about the fact to to be a director yeah what what do what do you want to express through your di direction that's what i uh i meant the themes the uh political uh ideas uh the emotions what what is like I think the it's, it's but that's what i say it's a good question that i i I'm still thinking about it in general. What do I want to say? Like if I think about the film I want to do about my family or the movie I want to do with my girlfriends, I think it just try to understand and accept the other, like go towards the other about acceptation, about understanding and about connection, about sharing uh i think finally in all the movies I, I i want to do i don't know if i will do them but i want to do even if they're the the story are so different so different but yeah i think i want to talk about like for example the movie i want to do about i've talked too much i'm sorry the movie i want to do about my my family like uh, for example my mother we called my mother what she does in aidant a helper you know it's a, a person who take care of a uh, person of family who are uh, handicapped who are uh, invalid who are uh, and i want to talk about these people who are like her like helpers uh who suffer who are alone and at the same time you know the you know, my mother, for me, it's, she's so courageous. And at the same time, she she's... Uh, and I want... So this is, for example, really important for me. Uh, so it's so it's really different from the other things. But at the same time, I, um, I think it's a, a people that we forget. These people who, like in France, uh, the, the helpers, they, uh, we call that them the helpers. They, they don't have help actually they help but they don't because it's normal it's your family but actually it's all their life like 24 hours they they work they don't even get really money for that so um so they kind of on on they don't, they don't really have a life because they don't have the time to have a life so so yeah i i want to for example to talk about that and um uh, about including that's i think that's what I, I i i want i try to do yeah and i resonate strongly with that because i am a licensed nurse so i have done that uh for people like um chronically ill that can't uh, really do anything for themselves anymore and for family too and so <laughs> it would be amazing to see a movie that reflects that and also that the toll that takes us on us as people you know because their their ill their illness are ours too so we yeah. we feel that their pain and we feel sorrow about uh, the state they are and then we have to take that to our homes and to learn to deal with that so something that they don't teach us uh, at college, you know. So it is more um, about uh, learning to be an empathetic person and learning to cope with all of the, the feelings, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, 
I am I am I am, I am excited that if you ever uh, do this movie, I I I hope you do. Um, and um, and when I will thank you again for uh, having those issues in your mind, those those things that really happen that few people talk about and, and make films about, you know. Um, so, well, that's all by me. I'm from Peru. Uh, I never said, I think, I don't know. <laughs> um, and well, uh, I think we are, we, we, we are done here. I don't know if, if. No, wait, you... I just have one more thing. You've, you have done, le you've done less mistakes and your English is amazing now. So I just wanted to say that it's, it's. You've done very well. So. And we all love that you say the just when you say it, woman. Yeah, we, we love it. it. Yeah. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I think I'm still doing this. I don't know why my brain doesn't want to. <laughs> it's your don't thing, though. It. It's your yeah. thing. It's don't like fix your it. signature. Yeah, don't, don't change it. It's like don't, change. don't change it. <laughs> don't change it. <laughs> we all love it. So. <laughs> But thank you for uh, organizing all this. This it's incredible. It must have been a lot of uh, of work. So thank you, Mati. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you too. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you. For me too. Yeah, it, it, it has been the the time of our lives. Please, anyone who wants to say goodbye to Mimi can unmute themselves. No worries about it. Um, unmute and say goodbye. Bye, 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 Hope uh, see you again soon. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. It was incredible. Thank you so much. You too. Bye. 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 bye.